a low gray people it's your friend the visionary full times miss lisa hamonto i'm here to tell you or let you know that i'll not be in a person to make reaction videos for just any song yes guys um my name is lisa hamonto like i told you i would not be in a position to make you know reaction videos for just any song anymore uh, for the reasons that I started the whole thing of reacting to videos Without really giving it a thought and I was just doing what I thought you know was the easy way of doing it Which is just finding any song and reacting even when you can tell that you know your your conscience does not stand with it you know for me i still have like problems if not a problem with uh any music that has strong profanity any music that tears people down than how it builds any music that has got visuals that show objectification especially of women and girls I still have a problem with uh, any content or music of that sort so for those reasons i'll not be in a position to serve reactions for any music of that kind forgive me in advance to those who maybe in the future when they see reaction videos of some songs they'll come here and be like how about you do a reaction for a song abc uh, if it should be a reaction, then your request will be looked at and assessed based on what exactly does the song you're requesting have, what kind of content does it contain. So that's just the change that um, we'll be having in this channel right now. With all that, I'm gonna say bye. I have to go to school, guys. So I don't know whether I should vlog on my way to school or what. Uh, morning, 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 morning. It's a tryout. If it works, we are in it. Vlogging on my way to school in the morning. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, we are trying out vlogging in the morning on my way to school. Just want to see how it feels like. And if possible, I'm going to be doing eight other parts where I'll be in school and then just show you the hints of what a day feels like when you are in school so that's pretty much it join me in don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell be part of the vision squad okay that's how we're gonna roll today um i know that many places around here look the same <laughs> especially in habroni you may look and you'll be like is that faithful no you may look and say is that block 10 no you may look and say is that block 5 no it's not uh, so amazing people make sure you subscribe smash the notification bell become part of the vision squad gang me gang okay for those of you who are in kenya uh karibu nisana my people mimi uh jina langu la kiswahili ni dunia mila okay otameduni um mimi naipenda kenya na nina wapenda Sana or Kenya. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, become part of the vicious squad, gang gang. Kenyans, uh, this is how it's like to be in Botswana. Khaboroni. At this time, most people have not woken up. Let me check the time. It's 7:43 in the morning. So I'm, I'm mostly a person who wakes up very early in the morning. I'm very active in the mornings. At around 3, I'm up studying, and then at around 5, I gotta take a bath. So that's mostly how I start my day. Between 5 and 5 30, it's shower and breakfast, and then between 6 and 7, or oh, let me just say between 7 
between six and uh, half seven. That's why I decided to prepare to go to school. I don't know, today I think I took longer than usual simply because of the weather. It looked more cloudy. As you can see, it's very cloudy. It's very cloudy. So when I saw it, I was like, ah! So there's still plenty of time. Only to realize that there's no time. Actually. So that's pretty much it. Join me and experience this. I'm about to get in a combi, which means I'll have to stop vlogging here. I'll continue with the vlog when I get to school. Peace! Yes, I managed to finally arrive in school. So just when I was starting off the camera, my study mate Horata just arrived. So I'll be starting off my day like that, going to study. Hi hey, Horata. Hi. Are you vlogging? Yes. Okay. You, you don't want to appear. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Is it the viewer? The vicious squad. Okay. Yes. Hi, vicious squad. Yes, this is yeah. my friend Horata. She's one of the people that I study with. Uh, a very smart girl. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, very smart. So she's one of the people I study with. Right now, we'll be heading to 247. 247, right? Yeah. Yeah, to do what we are here for. What we are here to do? The core business of being. The core business of being in this institution. Yeah. Yes. So the weather is quite amazing today. A bit chilly. Good for vlogging. Unfortunately, when I left home, I was not aware that it's gonna be like this. So we finally arrived in two four seven. Can okay, we do this so that you see that there was like somewhere in first floor so that's the ground over there yes so this is how it looks like it's a seminar room but we didn't book be prepared to see us being kicked out of here <laughs> business opportunity globally to test the viability of the business to increase sales turnover and to increase the profits to increase sales revenue to hone their skills locally and to compete globally and there has a major reason why people usually do what are the implications of globalization for entrepreneurs a, there are multiple opportunities for expansion. B, entrepreneurs are forced to become globally competitive. 
see there are no limits of to generating cells revenue d all above e none above mm -hmm. effect both positive and negative yeah of your business plan except tax authorities, investors, bankers, employees, none of this. A A E E Hmm? E A What? Oh, yes. Investors, eh? In yes, and lady. Employees. Yeah. Employees no, but they are. Yeah. Even senior employees, yeah, nah. Especially when the the thing is existing, you know, like it's fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Audience, the bread. Yeah, the bankers. Yeah, the bankers. Mm -hmm. when you want, when you want fund, you gotta blow me Investors, employees, finance department. The other shareholders. The devices. Okay. Mm. No, it's true because the tax authority is not so the answer is A, tax authorities. Which of these which of these are not types of businesses? Lifestyle, opportunity, high price, necessity, high growth. The entrepreneur was similar business because they came from Hey, hey, I get it. Oh, the money, I get it. 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 I get I Today I'll be vlogging from home to school. So that's it. I'm in school right now. Unfortunately, the weather is a bit it's cloudy as you can see. And then nah, Mimi, I just came like this no sweater, no jacket, nothing. Because when I was home, it was warm. As soon as I got in a combi, the, the weather decides to change. How is it my fault? <laughs> but it's not that shitty, it's just fine. This is how it looks like. I'm with Horata. <laughs> She's having her break, of course. So today, because it's Tuesday, on Tuesdays and Thursday, Thursdays, there are no, you know, most people are not attending, so the school is mostly empty, less crowded than but still because people want to access uh, the internet people want to come in here and attend not necessarily attend but have access to the recordings of their previous lessons do assignments, prepare for tests, assignments, everything, you name it they still come to school anyway and use computers and other facilities in the campus Hi guys, um, I just discovered something new today. I'm ending my day. I was just going around touring the school and I discovered that there's this build, building in school that I never really come to. It's called CCE. I always see it but I never bothered to think of what, it, the, what is it that the building does. But today I learned that 
Continuing Center of Education. Continuing Center of Education. C C E actually. So I'm very excited. I learned something about UB that I didn't know. And there's this beautiful statue here. See the statue behind me? It's the C C E statue. So that's it. You you have to know your environment. It helps your, your mind to grow, your brain to grow. Neuroplasticity is when you expose yourself to new things that you are not used to. And we are excited to see this. Today we learn over robots and go. She's a cool lady. I think she would have let us just go around with the hella just to see. The boy. Ribu, what is this? She won't mind. She seems like a nice lady. Yeah, like very nice person. Yeah. I've seen her go faculty. Oh, you know her even. That's much the rice. That's cool. Yeah, this is CCE. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna request to go inside and tour the place and see what's inside. We just hope that we're gonna be successful. Let's go. Yeah, no, they're not Oh, hello, amazing people. We did not manage to get inside and tour around simply because you need a permission or a permit to go inside and just see how it looks like. But according to the lady who is responsible for taking care of the building, she was saying that um, the person who's responsible for giving permits is not around. She's probably going to be around in the next month. So that's how crazy it is. But whenever we get the time, if next month allows, we're going to go there and show you the CCE. We hope you're ready for that. I'm excited on it. Yeah, it's exciting. Because the way she was describing the things that are there, definitely yeah. one has to go see Definitely. Yeah. And even the paintings, when you get in a reception, the attractive. The art. If, if you have like an artistic soul, the moment you see the art, you it captivates your attention yeah, right away. Does. So for me, it's one thing that I was taken aback by. Yeah. The other of the Thank you. Maybe because it's next or close to the administrative block. Maybe. Yeah, that's most likely. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. The parking lot. We're in the parking lot for the admin. I don't know if there's any security guard, Ooh. but of recent there are no security guards. I can just give you a glimpse of what it looks like. You see that hole over there? That's where the VC, the DVC go in in the morning. And let me go before they catch me, okay? Subscribe. Yes. So that's how crazy it is. Subscribe. Hit notification bell. You see that I'm going into risks. Risks. Just to show you nice things around here. Good morning. Uh, it's day two of vlogging on my way to school and at school. I did the first part yesterday. So today I'll be doing the second part. As you can see here. So it's day two of uh, this particular episode don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell be part of the vision squad gang gang so when i look at my time right now it's one past seven in the morning and the weather is still the same partly or rather slightly cloudy in this morning so it's a lovely weather unlike yesterday <laughs> unlike in day one today i decided to put on a sweater i decided to put on a hoodie so that i do not you know experience the unexpected so i did myself justice just by making sure that i get a warm sweater that i put on and it's none other than the insightful merchandise the insightful sweater please if you love them get yourself any of these they're in different colors there is white this is black there is yellow uh, and other colors 
which are mostly or we mostly provide but when you order for them right yeah and we also have the t-shirts colors predominantly white black and yellow but as well we can organize other colors if someone requests that they need such colors so those are the exceptions but mostly one thing that you should be sure about is that they'll always be yellow they'll always be black they'll always be white that's it and then one more thing is that the sfo book is also available you know i love that of recent uh since i've been away from social media of recent i've been receiving emails from a lot of people especially the school children that we met during the insightful tour uh, a couple of them who read the insightful book they sent emails appreciating how the book is impacting them and how the book is transforming their lives and you know it's something positive that you can tell that the book is making a difference in the lives of people and i love that it's children it's future leaders it's the creams or cream de la cream of the country the future of the country that we're talking about so for me i love the fact that most of uh, the, the readers we have are diverse in that sense the book is not too big for kids the book is not too small for adults the book is not it's book it's a book for all people basically everyone can just read it women men young old you know that's how i love it it's got like a wide variety of demographics